that was has been a pretty big part of your life. Yeah, five years. Yeah. What was that like? Because I look at you and, and to me, you are Mrs. Rafter. Judy and Rafter. you're the original Cheeky Babe. <laughs> I am. I, I worked I'm with Jane babe. Hall, one of your good friends. Oh, my and I'm like, darling Oh, girl. you're the original Cheeky Babe. I saw her yesterday morning, Jane. She's the best. So much love fun. Her. I used love to love her. her talking about All Together Now. I'm like, oh, no, I really loved love. All Together Now. I yeah. loved All Together That's probably another career highlight. Because one of those jobs that I laughed every day. Because you'd just rehearse. Monday to Thursday, you'd rehearse from 9 to 4 just muck around, you'd Perfect, show up yeah. in your trackies and rehearse and laugh and try and do things to make people laugh. And then you'd do two shows on a Thursday, one at six and one at eight, and you'd end up just laughing again. You'd make mistakes all the time to make the audience laugh. And So it was a live audience? It was a live then. audience, two live audiences. You'd do one at six and one at eight, two live audiences, and then you get Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. Yeah. It was the world's best yeah. job ever. Is ever. there a difference doing it with a live audience, do you oh, think? Oh, it's fantastic, yeah. Yeah, right. Because you'd stuff up on purpose. If the audience was a bit flat, You'd yeah. actually stuff up and you'd swear and you'd go, oh, sorry. Ooh, yeah, and the audience love, love that. They go, oh, more. Yeah. <laughs> you know, bloopers, fantastic. So you do that quite often just to get them going. So that was great. Anyway, rafters. Yeah. Amazing, best time of my life. Really? Yeah, I loved it. Well, because I was playing my sisters. Yeah. Julia Rafters like my sisters all oh, rolled really? in the way. It's like putting on egg boots. I mean, I'd just go to work and put on clothes and... It was just so easy. It was easy. And you and were very fun. close to a lot of the cast. Still am. Yeah, yeah. Right. I saw Hugh Sheridan two nights ago because he's in Melbourne doing an excess. So we went out for dinner the other night. Nice. And Jess Murray I see all the time. And Eric and I talk all the time. And I love them. Michael Caton's like my dad. Yeah, right. Yeah. I miss them. I miss that because we, st we stopped filming in December last year. Yeah, right. And people are still kind of blogging going... When's it coming back? I know. People get really into... People would think you are Mrs. Raft. They do. I get called Jules. Even do in Bangkok about a month, ago, whenever it was, I was in Bangkok in May doing a, an OLA commercial. And I was walking through the airport and someone went, Jules! And I didn't keep walking. They went, Jules! And I turned around and they went, Hi! <laughs> <laughs> I was on a cruise ship with a family uh, a couple of years ago. Same thing, Jules! And I'm like, oh, funny. God, come and have a drink. It's me, but it's not. <clears throat> Yeah, because working with people every day yeah. and then going to nothing is hard, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I was yeah. saying last night, because I worked with a couple of my best mates, did a radio show for a couple of years, so every day I like, saw them more than my family, and then when the show finished... Yeah, it's hard. We're still friends, but it's... Oh, it's completely still, different. It's so different, yeah. and I really miss that. Yeah, I miss know? that. I miss the camaraderie that we had on set, because we did laugh every day. Yeah, I bet. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not opposed to it, coming back and doing a special or... You know, that, that may happen. It depends on what happens. The problem is that all the other ones, it's like any show. You're doing a show about empty nesters. It's about yeah. kids moving home. If they stay home, there's something wrong with them. Yeah, yeah, you know? right. Yeah. They can move in for a few months, but when you're 35 and still living at home, there's not. I would right. do anything to live with my mum. Would you? Oh, I would love to still <laughs> live at home. Sam yeah. is like, because we're going to fix up our house. And he's like, we're not moving in with your mum because I know. You'll we'll never, never leave. leave. Is that right? You I love your mum? I, oh, my mum's. Really? Yeah. See, my everything. Fantastic. I love her. I love the, f yeah. See, I'm, I'm hoping my son feels like that. Yeah. I hope that he goes, well, where we're living now, we've got an underground uh, downstairs that's kind of, at, it's his playroom at the moment. But I'm like, so if we put a bathroom in there because it's got its own entrance. He may stay there till he's like 43. Yes, <laughs> I know. And I know. we're just going, no, darling. I'm like, he might have, he's got his own entrance. He, my he really did that. might. That's well, my friends did that for their son. They actually built a little Mexican adobe style apartment out yes. the back of it. And he stayed there until he got yeah, married. Yeah, how do we trap them? I want to trap we them. We could wrap them in plastic and put them in the basement as well. That's, that's, a, good a, that's a good idea. It's a movie called Bad Boy Bubby. They did that. <laughs> They did that. It's I know, I know that movie. It's wrapped so, wrong. <laughs> so wrong. I'm not opposed to it though. Wrapping them in plastic and keeping it in the basement. That's going to be the headline of this. Rebecca give me plans on wrapping her child in plastic until he's 43. 